This week on The Wire, fastest rent growth in a decade. Fitch tips 14 to 16% price growth and lockdowns fail to stall markets. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Top story for this week, fastest rent growth in a decade. So rents have risen at the fastest rate in more than a decade, with only rises above 10% in Perth, Darwin, and regional Australia. Now, CoreLogic's quarterly rental review says the national growth rate reached 6.6% in June, which was the fastest annual gain since 2009, and that overall was boosted by an 11.3% rise in regional rents. Now, it coincides with SQM's research data showing a record reduction in the availability of rental properties, with the national vacancy rate falling to a 10-year low of 1.7% in June. Now, many regional markets have vacancy rates below 1%. Now, the combined rate of rental price growth outside capital city markets hit 11.3% over the year to June, and it was the highest annual growth result since CoreLogic's rental index began in 2005. Now, amongst the capital cities, Darwin recorded 22% and was the highest annual growth, which was ahead of Perth's 17% rise. Now, Hobart rose 9%, followed by Brisbane and Canberra, both at 7.3%. Adelaide 7.2%, Sydney uh, at 3.2%. Melbourne was the only capital to record a decrease down 1.4%. Now guys, for our next story, Fitch tips 14 to 16% price growth. So credit rating agency Fitch has upgraded its outlook on Australian home prices to among the highest in the world. The agency has lifted its forecast for house price growth over the year to a range of 16, uh, sorry, 14 to 16%, which is a jump from the three to 5% it had forecast in December, 2020. Now, the upbeat take on the housing market's direction comes despite recent lockdowns, which analysts, analysts say will lower activity in the short term, but potentially spur a strong spring selling season. Now, Global Bank HSBC predicted the price growth being recorded across the country could reduce in 2022. The bank expects an 11% to 13% rise in property prices this calendar year, but says the growth rate should drop to between 5 and 9% next year. By contrast, Fitch has raised its home price expectations for 2021 in five countries, including Australia, Canada, and the US, due to the microeconomic recoveries as vaccines have rolled out and the extension of government support measures. Now guys, for our final story of the week, lockdowns fail to stall markets. So housing markets have continued to divide skeptics as the country's two largest cities overcame rising COVID-19 cases and additional lockdowns to record yet another strong weekend of auction clearances last weekend. Now, preliminary results showed that over 75% of homes that went to auction cleared with a combined 1,700 out of just over 2,000 properties selling across the nation's capital cities. Now, Archer Star Chief Economist Andrew Wilson says property markets continue to prove they can adapt to lockdown restrictions. He says we saw another record July day on Saturday with more than double the clearances this time last year. Despite lockdowns, we can see agents, buyers and sellers have the mechanisms to conduct high volumes of clearances, even with restrictions. Now elsewhere, Adelaide emerged as the country's best performing capital city, recording a clearance rate 83%, while Brisbane remained the busiest of the small capital cities with more than 160 auctions held during the week. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow us subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, guys. And remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.